It is Thursday, January 19th. Today, a big integration for big commerce. How will Instagram's change today affect your organic reach? TikTok's strange new podcasting feature. Why employers are sliding into their employees' DMs. And another big fail for Meta's ad approvals bot. I'm Todd Maffin. Here's what you missed today in digital marketing. Big Commerce is expanding its e-commerce marketplace. The company partnering with Microsoft Advertising to release a new Microsoft Ads and Listings app in its Big Commerce marketplace. Using the app, Big Commerce merchants can now integrate their stores to reach Microsoft Advertising's audience. With this Microsoft Ads and Listings integration, merchants can synchronize their e-commerce product catalogs directly to the Microsoft Merchant Center. Microsoft says products are then automatically displayed for free across its Bing and Start placements. Merchants can also create smart shopping campaigns and view their marketing performance and insights in the app itself. Microsoft Ads and Listings on Big Commerce is currently available in select markets with plans to expand in the future. Instagram users now have a new tool to block your brand's organic reach. Users can now filter out and hide posts containing specific keywords they choose. The platform announced today it's bringing hidden words to recommendations. Now users can add a word or a list of words, emojis, or hashtags that they want to avoid, like fitness or recipes. And the platform will stop recommending content with those words in the caption or hashtag. Instagram already lets users hide comments and DMs containing specific words, but this new expanded filtering option will let them control what they see or don't see in their feeds even more. As noted by CNBC, the change appears to address concerns raised by U.S. policymakers about the platform's impact on teens. Are podcasts coming to TikTok? Business Insider reports today that TikTok is experimenting with a new tool that its code calls podcasts, but it's not really that at all. Rather, this will let users listen to a video's audio as the app operates in the background, much how like other video apps do, and even YouTube can do if you pay for its premium option. Obviously, this would be a great addition to TikTok, especially now that longer form videos are in the mix. According to a screenshot from a content creator apparently in the test, the app prompted an option to listen to the video, quote, as a podcast, unquote. And a thumbnail appeared on a page called Podcasts. It's a weird way of saying background audio, but whatever. TikTok did not respond to media requests for comment. Can't get your staff to read their emails? Try sliding into their DMs. Apparently, some company executives now send their employees messages via Instagram DMs because young employees ignore work emails. Take WePro, one of the world's biggest IT companies. Its CEO, quoted in the Evening Standard yesterday, said about a tenth of his company's staff don't even check their work email once a month. Quoting the executive, to speak to my employees, I go on Instagram or LinkedIn. It works better. They don't even check emails sometimes. They're 25. They don't care, unquote. Meanwhile, the chief executive of video platform Vimeo compared emails to outdated instruction manuals. As a result, she noted the company changed how it communicates with staff, focusing more on emotion and nuance instead of emails. She added, young people don't read anymore. My old backup routine was horrible. It was a physical hard drive that I'd carry around to the computers in our house once a month and sit there while they copied all their files over. Except it didn't copy everything, and there were conflicts, and monthly backups aren't exactly best practices. Now I use Backblaze. It backs up literally everything on your computer without you having to do a thing. It just sits in memory. The second you add or change a file, it uploads it to the cloud. You can access any of those files from the web at any time or even have them ship your files back to you in a hard drive if you want. It's just 7 bucks a month, Mac and PC. You can restore old versions of files. It's really the simplest and most reliable backup tool I've used. And my first account was like 10 years ago. With our special link, you'll be able to try it for free for 15 days. You won't even need a credit card. Go to backblaze.com slash today. Don't be that person that forgot to back up their important files. They've got your back. Sign up for a free 15-day trial. No credit card required when you sign up at backblaze.com slash today. We all hope we'll never need life insurance, but mortgage payments, childcare, and other expenses 
don't disappear when you're gone. If you have a family like I do, you already have plenty of things to worry about. A good life insurance plan can give you extra peace of mind that your family will always be taken care of. Policy Genius was built to modernize the life insurance industry. Their technology makes it easy to compare life insurance quotes from top companies like AIG and Prudential in just a few clicks to find your lowest price. With Policy Genius, you can find life insurance policies that start at just $17 per month for $500,000 of coverage. And Policy Genius has licensed agents who can help you find options that offer coverage in as little as a week and avoid unnecessary medical exams. Your loved ones deserve a financial safety net. You deserve a smarter way to find and buy it. Head to PolicyGenius.com to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you could save. That's PolicyGenius.com. Not all Facebook ads get automatically denied by Meta's policy enforcement robots. Hell, some of them even make it through, including apparently a handful of ads that advocated for the death of children. According to a new report from a human rights activist group, Facebook approved a series of online ads promoting violence in Brazil just days after protesters rioted in government buildings. Using fake accounts, the group submitted 16 ads to Facebook, with some calling on people to storm government buildings, others describing the election as stolen, and some calling for the deaths of children whose parents voted for Brazil's new president. 14 of the 16 ads were approved for publication. A spokesperson for the group said this test proves that the platform is not doing enough to enforce its ad policies restricting violent content. The group also, by the way, submitted ads for approval on YouTube. YouTube immediately suspended the group's accounts. The group is called Global Witness. It said it deleted the ads from Facebook before users could actually see messages like death to the children of Lula voters. In response, a spokesperson for Meta said there were only 16 ads involved. Too small, they said, to be representative of how the company enforces its policies at scale. And finally, more industry layoffs continue. Group M, one of the world's largest media agencies, has confirmed staff cutbacks. Digiday reporting today the company is conducting a series of layoffs this week with more than 100 employees losing their jobs or resigning across its global network. Meanwhile, Canadian social media platform Hootsuite is laying off nearly 10% of its employees in its third job cut over the last year and has replaced its chief executive. The company confirmed to the Globe and Mail newspaper that it would lay off about 70 people. Feeling a tiny bit under the weather today, so I will leave it here. Thanks for listening. See you tomorrow. When Shopify says you can sell anywhere, oh, they mean it. Woo, hold up. Just got a new sale. Order fulfilled and shipped. Inventory level's good. Whoa, Shopify doesn't mind if you're at sea level. Or on top of the world. Oh, you can run and grow your business anywhere. Climbing mountains is never easy, but at least Shopify gives me all the tools I need for my business to hit new beats. Whether you're selling carabiners or crop tops, start selling with Shopify today and join the platform simplifying commerce for millions of businesses worldwide. We've built the platform so you can keep climbing and grow your business to new heights. With Shopify, you really can sell to anyone from anywhere. This is Possibility, powered by Shopify. Start selling online today. Sign up for a free trial at shopify.com slash free 22. Shopify.com slash free 22. Shopify.com slash free 22. Internet connection required. Not available on mountaintops or seafloors.